Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Dex Lab Analytics. My name is Niharika Rai and in this particular video I'll be talking about a concept in time series analysis called ARIMA. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please click on the i icon on the top right hand side corner of your screen and you will be directed to those videos. Now without wasting any further time, let's get started. ARIMA also known as autoregressive auto regressive integrated moving average moving average this particular term represents three concepts First is the AR part, the second is the integrated part and the third is moving average where AR is represented by a variable P, I is represented by a variable D and M is represented by a variable Q. AR is nothing but auto autocorrelation regression function that is AR equals to alpha a constant term plus Y minus 1 that is a year a previous year observation which can help us predict the value of yt d is d is nothing but where yt is yt is equals to yt minus t minus 1 that is current year minus the previous year value gives us y hat that is to be predicted that is a differential term one year minus the other year moving average is nothing but here we are talking about the moving average in the sense of the error error terms the difference between the predicted the predicted value and the observed value is added back to the original form that is arima so here we have yt equals to sorry et equals to beta 1 multiplied by et minus 1 error of the previous year is added back to pre predict the area error of the current year since the ar uh, since the uh, ar is a linear regression model and works best when the independent variables are not correlated differencing the values differencing the values or uh, differencing the data make the model uh, model stationary which is uh, subtracting the previous value from the uh, from the current value so that the predictions of any further values can be stabilized in case the model is already stationary the value of d that is differencing differencing part would be zero on um, differencing part would be zero therefore differencing is the minimum number of deductions that is the i d part minimum uh, minimum number of deductions required to make the model stationary uh, deductions yeah Deductions can be more than one uh, in case the, the, the data does not get uh, is not stabilized over a period of time but uh, but it is important that in ARIMA model the, the, the value of differencing can, should be kept at least one so that it actually makes up the, the model itself. Um, the order of t depends on exactly when your model uh, model becomes stationary that is in case the autocorrelation is positive 
over 10 lakhs then we can do further differencing otherwise in case autocorrelation is very negative at the first lag that is um, uh, say lag 1 2 3 or whatever in this case uh, if the autocorrelation is uh, negative in the first lag then we have an order of uh, over differenced uh, series so a combined model of ar i and ma is called arima and this can be represented by the following formula where for the prediction of yt we need a constant value plus plus um, a beta value beta 1 or coefficient yt minus 1 plus beta 2 yt minus 2 depending on how many years of coefficients or uh, lags we are taking into consideration this is the lag part and then we have the differencing part that is uh, your plus beta p yt minus p et plus the overall years of errors that is et minus 1 plus et minus 2 this is again theta is a constant term et minus t minus 2 and so on and so forth now let's quickly talk about how arima works now arima works on the basis of lags so say uh, we have a data and um, in normally what normally what happens is that in linear regression we have an x data and y data where y is to be predicted and x is the data which is independent and this is the dependent data here in time series what happens is that original x becomes your um, original x data say we have um, prices in this scenario say 12 13 14 15 we have price in this scenario the original data itself becomes um, and it can be divided into two parts or can be divided into parts to find out the um, uh, to get the predicted value in itself so as in previous videos we have seen how moving average and how exponential data works so uh, the data actually predicts itself so in this case also in time series portion the data will predict itself uh, over a period of time so if i want to find out the coefficients of beta 0 and beta uh, beta 1 uh, again the constant term can be anything here we can have the, the 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 coefficients as suppose you have four values so we can calculate the coefficient beta z uh, beta 0 and beta 1 for this particular value and then we can then if another value comes in like uh, 16 then we can cal calculate the again the beta coefficient for this entire set of data and we'll get again a beta 1 1 x say and this is beta 1 y say so we get like that and then here again again if we get a new data say 17 here then again we calculate a new uh, coefficient for the entire data set and see how the data is moving overall so the values are in itself being predicted by the data so uh, how how this particular thing works is that once we have the lag suppose we are creating a model of arima ar arima 3 is to 1 is to 0 where the the p is the autocorrelation or the lags is 3 here and the integrated part is 1 and we have we are assuming that there are no errors or to be added back so uh, taking that we get a model which can be written as yt minus yt minus 1 equals to uh, we have the we have an alpha value so a constant term plus the lag say first year's lag is 0 0.59 minus 0 0.59 so here we write 0 0.59 and then uh, we the current value is reduced uh, from say 17 minus 16 and 
this is this will be the integrated part this will be the lag part and this will be the constant term and in case we uh, and since here we are using three lags so suppose that initial of the first coefficient or the initial coefficient which we got was this and then um, okay i have used the wrong sign here it will be minus so again now uh, the next coefficient will be added here so suppose that the next co coefficient is minus 0 0.59 to or you can say 69 so this again can be added here 0 0.69 then again the current value is this 16 uh, now it's one less so 16 minus 15 and the last lag would be say plus 0 0.59 so last lag is 0 0.59 so here you go so 0 0.59 um, 59 here the plus sign and we have the final values here so here we had 15 so 15 minus 14 plus plus since this part has to be um, this is yt we want to yt is what we want to calculate in reality this will move at the back and the minus sign will obviously change into the um, the first uh, the plus sign and then we'll have we can add the value of 17 here because we have we are considering that this is going to be the previous value for the future value so by this formula you'll be able to calculate the arima values here we have taken three lags that is why we have three coefficients to calculate in in case you had one is to one is to one model or three is to one is to one model for um, moving average all you had to do was just multiply the coefficient values with the error term if you had any et minus one and then um, just add that and you'll get the uh, the entire model itself so this is how arima model works and you can just go ahead and check it check uh, apply the arima, arima model with your own hands directly but uh, i would suggest you all to wait for this uh, the for the videos or the next video in particular because i'll be teaching you how to uh, build your arima model in python programming language and yeah so that's it for this video hope you liked it and if you did and you learned something from it please do click on the like uh, like button and click on the uh, bell icon so that you are posted when i upload my next video uh, and also if you want to learn more about dexlab analytics or more from me uh, about the python language and these concepts uh, concepts and statistics you can go ahead and uh, mail us at hello at the rate dexlabanalytics.com uh, or you can uh, whatsapp us or call us on the numbers given on the screen you can also visit our website that is www.textlabanalytics.com hope to see you soon goodbye take care